Hello and welcome to this video in which we are going to see how to use GPS-3 on a Mac with an M1 processor. Many of my students have had problems setting up labs with this type of processor, so in this video we are going to be seeing how we can get ahead with a Mac M1 using GNC3 and most importantly, the GNC3 virtual machine, where we will load our projects. As you can see, I'm using a Mac here. With M1 processor, a MacBook Pro. And the elements we need are really very few. The first thing we are going to need is a virtualizer, which I recommend when working with Mac Ben Word Fusion. Previously, this program could only be accessed by purchasing them, but now we have a license. Totally free for personal use. By accessing this link you will also be able to see it in the comments section and in the resources section. They will be able to reach this page, so I don't know if they make it too complicated by copying what you see on the screen. I am going to be leaving you all the links that I am going to be showing and that I am going to be using in this video. Logically they need a Benward account that is totally free. You can create it instantly and then with this link. They can request. Fusion Personal Use License Once they request them, they will have access to the serial key, which here of course is blocked because this is mine and then below is the link. To download the software. Once they download it, they install it. There were going to be something more or less like that. This is the main window of Pinball Fusion. I already have a virtual machine that is 3 guineas, which I named ARM. However, I'm going to be creating a new one for the purposes of this video. The next thing we need is the three guineas image for views. In order to download this image, we need to go to the Genesis 3 repository on GitHub, since a link is not yet published on the official GS3 page. So they can download the Genesis 3 image for ARM processors to work. And, not all versions also have this image, I am now positioned in version 2238, which has the ARM processor as we see here, but if we go to another country, for example, the last one at 202H401, we see that there is no ARM. I don't know the reason why sometimes they put it and sometimes they don't, but as far as I could trace it, the latest version that counts. With the image for arms at 2.38 p.m. at least on the date this video was recorded, of course. So what we are going to do is download this file 3 guineas BMW. We click. We are going to download a zip. And once the download is complete, we're going to unzip this SIP. And unlike the other VMS where we normally have a virtual machine directly to import, here we only have the virtual hard disks, the BMDKs, we have disk 1 and disk 2. The order is important and now we are going to see it. Also remember that when working with GS3, the GNC3 client and the GC3 server must have the same version. Otherwise, they won't be able to connect to each other. Therefore, from this same page you can also download the client that for Mac would be the one with the MG extension. So, having the same version at 238H both in the client and in the server, there will be no problems. Now with the virtual machine downloaded, what we have to do is create a VM. These little arrows, which is next to the plus and we are going to put new. Here we are going to put create a custom virtual machine. And, we're going to select from Linux. The Ubuntu 64-bit ARM distribution is very important to make this selection. Then we click on continue and here instead of creating a new disk we are going to select an existing one. We click on select virtual disk. And this brings us to the download page, rather, the directory. I will expand the directory that I have just unzipped and I am going to select the important disk one that I select in one and we leave the option that. Create a separate copy of this virtual disk. We click choose. Then he continued. Here we put customize to give it another name. For example, 3 guineas, ARMV2. 
once. We finished with this process, we already have the virtual machine available, but we are not going to start it yet. We are going to make some adjustments, we go first to processors to see that we have everything correctly. They try to put two or more processors and all the RAM they can allocate to it. With show all we return when we enter a menu, for example, here enter the processors and instead of having a button, return is show all. The next thing we are going to do is work with the network adapter, I am going to leave this option that says share with my Mac internet sharing. What this is going to do is have a virtual network. And not my home network like it would happen if you select the Wi-Fi option, here it would be a bridge option and it would count. With the same IP addressing on the GC3 virtual machines. Normally my courses recommend this, but for the purposes of this video I'll be using share with my Mac. And finally on records. We see that we have the one we imported, disk 1. Now let's go up here. Add device. Disponimo's existing hard disk. We click on add. And we go AA downloads to look for disk 2 that we had left regardless of the same option, we leave it marked to create a separate copy. And we click on open and apply. And once this is over. Click on show all and now we see that we have the two disks, we have the network with proper configuration and processor and memory ready. We close this and click on play, we are ready to start our virtual machine. Perfect. Note that the machine started correctly and has an IP address that is not my network, but it is important that they try. Have them at least pin against this machine if the ping test doesn't work for them then they have a network problem and need to fix it. If the pin against this IP is correct, they can continue. Well and once we have installed the virtual machine and working, we need to connect her with the client. What I'm going to do is download it to the client because I didn't have it. Let's download the GTA 3238 DDMG. This installs very easy and very fast, they are double click and done. We simply drag our GT3 to the applications directory. And with this we are already closing this window and opening GPS3. Here we can see that we have the indicated version, 238H, don't give importance to this bridge thing. They assume that there are no cancels and ignore all these error messages, because what we are going to do is connect this GS3 with our server in the Windows Virtual Machine. We will not be running locally. Virtualization, but we are going to delegate it to the Virtual Machine. To connect the client to the server, we just go up here Gen S3. Preferences. Ignore these signs. Let's go to servers, we distill the option to enable local server. And here we put the connection data with our server, we have to put this IP. The protocol is HTTP, the port is 80, the user GT3 and the password is 3 guineas 2. We click OK and this is the litmus test. If it says here main server in server summary we are fine, we are connected if it says something else here or it doesn't say anything, there was a problem and they need a home. What has happened? And in this way, so simple and so fast, we were able to build a GS3 virtual machine compatible with Mac M1 processors. In the next video I'm going to be importing a project and we're going to be doing customizations when configuring GPS3 when we connect to a virtual machine that requires ANCYA, a virtual machine that requires a command line. I hope this video has served you. And can they carry it out? Thank you and see you next time.